what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl kenya and i'm back again with another video today's video i'm going to be discussing what you need to know before you look before <laughs> what you need to know before you use law of attraction and how to use it also guys we have reached 100 subscribers like i'm so excited because when i first started this i did not think that i was going to get at least past 10 subscribers because i knew the 10 subscribers that i did have they were from my instagram you 100 subscribers i appreciate y'all so much like and i am having a 100 the leaves are blowing outside it scared me but like i was saying i am having a hundred dollar gift card giveaway someone will win a 100 dollar gift card to whatever store of their choice once i get to 150 subscribers so I do have a video up, it's called um, 100, my $100 gift card giveaway. You can go back and check that out. Um, if you are new to my channel, make sure you do subscribe and go back to that video once you're finished watching this one. And comment down, let me know that you did subscribe. And also you can follow me on Instagram at it's Kenya XCH. So I don't have a Twitter, but uh, Snapchat, um, I am on Snapchat at I'm just KS. So yeah, make sure you do subscribe, like this video and comment let's get into the video first before you start using the law of attraction you need to know you get what you ask for do not use law of attraction to manifest bad things period that's that's like a really big thing that you all need to know when you're trying to manifest something do not try to manifest bad things do not try to manifest harm on people like just don't do it do not try to manifest anything when you're in a bad mood when you're in a state of need, do not do it because the fact that you're wanting it and you're needing it and you're pretty much obsessing over it, you're worrying to the point where it's like always on your mind, you're stressed out, you got headaches, doing so will cause blockages. So you're, you're asking for something, but at the same time, you're constantly worrying about it. So being that you're constantly worrying about it, you're not letting the universe do its job. So now that that said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the steps and let's go. First things first, you need to relax. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. You need to relax. You need to be on the same vibration. You need to be aligned with the universe. If you're in a moment where you're like, I can't do this right now, take a breather, relax, meditate, go take a walk. Listen to some music that gets you hype, you know, get you, you know, get you all. You know, if, if you're that type of person, be like, oh, I need to take a nap. I'm going to take a nap. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll. And you, you, you go take a nap and you feel better. Go take that nap. Go take it. Or if you're the type of person that needs to eat, because I know, I know I'm one of them. I eat and I feel better. So I'm going to eat and feel better. And then I'm going to try to manifest something after. Or, you know, sometimes I just feel like, okay, I'm going to eat and then go to sleep because I got the itis. Then I'm really going to feel good. Do whatever you can to raise your vibrations to make sure that you're in a good mood. Because being in a good mood makes it better for the universe to provide you what you want. If that makes sense. Second, you need to be sure about what you want. Don't think or feel anything that can contradict what you're trying to manifest. So you can't, you can't. Don't do this, don't do this. God, please send me a man. I just need a man, I just wanna be loved. I'm so tired of being lonely. And then be on the phone with your home girl like. Girl, I cannot believe he did that to you. This is, this is why I don't want no man, cause me ain't shit. I'm good, I'm good off that, I'd rather be by myself. Just like you would send any person, you're sending the universe mixed signals. They don't know what you want. You're saying you want one thing, but then you're feeling another. The universe cannot give you what you want because you're not sure. So this is what I get into saying, be specific. Be specific about what you want. So what you can do, you can write it down. Whether it's love or a job or whatever, whatever, money or whatever, whatever the case may be. What you want, write it down. Write it down, create a vision board but be specific don't leave out any details so say that you're trying to manifest a job you don't know what you want you don't know what kind of job you want or you do know what kind of job you want write down what kind of job you want what kind of income you want to make your hours you know how you feel when you're at your job you know whether you want to commute or you don't want to commute like 
be specific about every single detail. Because you can ask for a job, they can give you a job that you're going to be like, in two days, be like, I can't do this. But the universe gave you a job because that's what you asked for. But you weren't specific about what you wanted. After you're specific about what you want, you need to feel it. Like I said, if it's the job that you're trying to manifest, when you wake up in the morning, pretend you have to you have to envision it. You need to feel it. When you wake up in the morning, get dressed like you get ready to go to that job. Like I seen in the video the other day, I don't remember her name. Gosh, I wish I could remember your name. I watched your video yesterday. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to... I'm going to go look at your name when I when I edit this video and I'm going to put it here and give you props for that, okay? Go out looking for the clothes that you would like to wear to that job. You don't have to buy them, but feel it. Feel it feel it how you would be if they were to call you and say, okay, yeah, you got the job. When can you start? And you got to, well, you have to dress like this. And you go to the store and you get ready to buy those clothes. You have to go feel that. Go feel it. Or if it's the new car that you want, go to the dealership let's drop it so we can feel how it feels to have that car so once you got once you once you got that specific thing you feel it you feel it you feel it you feel it for 17 seconds and you feel it and you love it and you love it and you love it let it go move on detach from it let it go so once you let it go you know you take a piece of paper you put it back in your folder you put it on your desk you know you close your book you put your vision board back where it came from let it go walk away go on about your day don't continue to dwell on it. The universe heard you. Let it do it. Let it do its job. Lastly, you need to have faith. Not having faith creates blockages. Believe that it can come to you. So don't try to manifest this job and then be like, well, I don't have enough experience on my resume. So, you know, I don't I don't know if I can get it. You're not going to get it. You're creating blockages. The universe is not going to give you what you want because you're creating a blockage to receive it. Let the universe do its job. That's all you need to do. You wrote it down. You felt it. You were specific about what you want. The universe heard you. Let it go. You asked. You believe. Now be patient and receive it. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I will be uploading on Thursday. This video is going to be up on Tuesday. Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. I was supposed to upload this on Tuesday. This is going to be up on Wednesday. I'm going to record another video for you guys tomorrow. We'll upload it tomorrow, which is Thursday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.